It's Saturday, June 12th, 2021. You're listening to Heartbeat Hero Radio. going to interview the 80s kid the 80s kid is a swedish singer born in 1993 so uh, i sent the song to her she did some amazing things she sent i want to make some sweet baby juice baby don't forget me when you're out in the neighborhood Now we go to our interview with Shine. We travel to Norway. A vocalist Christopher, bassist Henrik, guitarist Hans, and drummer Tomas. These are the four members that create the group called Shine. Welcome to Heartbeat Hero Radio. Thank you. <laughs> In core. All right. Uh
I'm getting out of here while I'm still in one piece. If you had any brains, you would do the same thing. was Heartbeat Hero with Grid Digger, and now it's time for the Retro Crew. Let me introduce my guests. Uh, they're all part of the Retro Crew. These guys were the first to come on the show frequently when I just started. Let's start with our first member, and I'll turn on the sound so we can hear you guys. Uh, when he was a kid, he would play video games for hours on end. Now he keeps us up to date with the gaming news from the Lit Gaming Arena in the United States. Welcome, Jeff of Jefferson Rift. Hey, what's up? All right, and from the Netherlands, he loves to play retro games and watch Joe Rogan in his free time. He's also a very talented Dutch synthwave producer. Here is Flo of Synth Street. Hello, Daniel. How's it going? Very good. Yes, yes. And he's a pop culture fanatic and a talented artist, having watched Fury Road over 40 times, maybe 41. This man from California has given us many awesome reviews of games and movies. This is Joe of the Ozone Nightmare. Hello, everybody. Sorry if my audio is crappy. I don't know why. My next guest is my partner in Synthwave Crime. He's part of a Dutch Synthwave super team. He eats, sleeps, and repeats 80s-style Synthwave. Say hello to Steven of Hot Heels. Hey, you, the retro crew, show them what to do. Make a break. I oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... I mean, the 80s, they knew how to make shit look sci-fi. <laughs> very, very sci-fi. Oh, and it sounds fantastic. Oh, would annoy the shit out of my mother. <laughs> she said this thing was the reason my dad left. <laughs> Come to find out, he wasn't my real dad. So, joke's on you. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, well, that was it. It came out in 1984, and it runs off of four big-ass C-cells. <laughs> Let's go to Flo. Flo, what do you have? You had like a Polar or something like that? Yeah, man. Uh, first, I had uh, this little figure of Bomberman. I have it's yeah, kind of retro because it's retro inspired, but I got it uh, by a friend who made uh, the himself. So that was nice to uh, see. Uh, my uh, friend Justine from France. And but I opened my retro box, which I totally forgot, and I found this 1977 Polaroid wow. camera. And that was in the time the best selling one, I think, at Christmas. <laughs> and it was, it's still a cheap one, but it's for that, uh, like, line of ones. It was the expensive one because this was like $180. And I think the other ones were like $40, $50. Joe, what was uh, your uh, contribution to the retro? Uh, hold on. Okay. Mine is this is an actual Game Boy case, but with a retro pie built into it. So, Ooh. uh, you know, it's heavily modified because I still think, and I, this is no bullshit, I still think this is the best 
handheld ergonomically that I've ever used. It's the most comfortable thing to play on. So because you do have a switch, though, a, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's still better. It's better than anything, honestly. And I mean, I've tried uh, PSP and I've tried them all. I had a DS. All It's all bullshit. This thing is still the best one because the weight's really good, F you know, f for the grip. It's just a if nice it's real human hands. Yeah. I mean, I've got <laughs> one of these things, which is kind of a modern play on the Game Boy. This is a <laughs> RG 351V. It's fine. But look, look how skinny this son of a bitch is. Like, look at this. This mm -hmm. is no good. You need you need that thickness, baby. It's got to be thick. Yeah. So it's one I can't really show um, on stream because <laughs> they'll get you banned. Well, tell uh, tell tell what it was. Oh, you're showing it. It's, it's, <laughs> I can I can show the I can show the lo the logo. Look at that centerfold collector card <laughs> from like the '80s. I have the entire set. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> um, but the real thing is, uh, I have this Olympia keyboard from like i think it's like the year 1956 that this thing was made it's, it's freaking oh, heavy yeah. to hold up to the camera right this thing oh that thing's beautiful look let's at hear that it. let's, he let's hear right, it man it's in like it, oh yeah I, you can and you can tell it's from the 70s because everything in the 70s was orange <laughs> Um, drove past uh, Blue Origin, which is uh, Jeff Bezos's space ah. agency. Um, so I got to say boo to Jeff Bezos because I don't like <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, while I'm while I'm live on a product he owns. We <laughs> um, don't own that. We're good. We're good. Bad for Mr. Bezos. <laughs> Take no offense here, Mr. Bezos. We're we're subservient to you. No, take offense. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff Bezos. I'll say it. I don't give a shit. You gotta get it. And and then this is the last episode of Heartbeat Hero Radio, in <laughs> banned, banned by Jeff Bezos himself. <laughs> It's about superheroes. Oh Let's my see god. See how your knowledge is about superheroes. All right, which superhero said, "Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men?" Oh, fuck you. Was That's that my a goddamn question? I love the, him. Was that A, the thing, B, the shadow, or C, the devastator? I have no idea. I must say B. <laughs> oh, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> but you said B, and that's correct. The shadow is correct. <laughs> How do you not know the shadow? <laughs> Everybody knows Batman. Fuck Batman. Shadow came what? first, did it better. Fuck Super Gordon, the father of Bat Gordon. Her employment was. I know all of her superhero alter egos when she was Oracle <laughs> and Birds of Prey. I'm going to say Police Chief, probably. That is correct. Hey. Because well, she's Gordon's daughter. That's two yeah. points for Joe. Joe, you're in the lead. Uh, he's in the lead. Fuck yeah. Because it is, lead. baby. Kyle Rayner yeah. didn't have one of these. That fucking he has all prick. the knowledge. I saw you watch the new Good. Mortal Kombat movie. Can you give us your spoiler-free com Mortal Kombat review? It was fine. It did as many good things as it did <laughs> terrible things. So it was fine. <laughs> Honestly, I, it's hard to even review that movie because every time I was like, "Oh, that's great," then it would be it would just shit the bed the next scene. So it's like, <laughs> it's dead even. It's a dead five. I, I, it's inoffensive i guess unless you don't like gore but it's just i it don't know who really would love that movie all fan service right. am i right it was all fan service no story the first 10 minutes and the last 10 minutes are all that's really like remarkable about it everything else is just like who the fuck was in charge nobody and that's what it was it wasn't a waste of time but i certainly would never watch it again uh, so, what, 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 ever.
maybe the old the old song festival was uh, good with good singers and stuff i don't know much about it uh-huh. i don't want to crap on them you know uh-huh. but i'm talking about i think the last years you know these it's it's all about the uh, it's not about the singers anymore i think it's more about the show and stuff Spectacle. yeah it's all about the costumes and dressing up i hate that <laughs> <laughs> So, Jeff, um, together with Steven and Joe, you're all oh, at man. two points. If you get this one right, you have won the trivia. Oh, oh my God. You win. How many countries competed in the first ever Eurovision? Was that A, 7, B, 10, or C, 20? I'm going to go with 10. Yeah, that's what I think. Good answer. It's good. It's good guess. That is incorrect. No! Oh, we're going to have a tiebreaker. We got a tiebreaker. Grab your phones or computers. You are allowed to look this up. First person to answer this question will win. After your first answer, you will have to let the other person guess, and uh, they may take as long as they'd like to answer. Uh, you are allowed to look this up on internet. How many tracks does my new album, Synth Wave from the Heart, have? Do not look for it on Spotify because it's too difficult to find. Look on Bandcamp at heartbeathero.bandcamp.com and find out. 27. Incorrect. 26. Now you're only allowed one answer, uh, and now Joe and Steven can answer. 14! Wait, 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 wait. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tiebreaker is this? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I don't give a shit. I got, I got okay. a tip for you guys. If you want to win, wear the tie. It's easy. <laughs> and I would like to thank you for real, Daniel, because uh, uh, you made me a character in your video game. <laughs> Yes. That, that was something that was always on my bucket list, so I have it here. I can show you. This is my, my bucket list. I don't know if you can read it. Let's see. What's the it's first thing bucket. on there? What's the first it's thing on that bucket list? The list. And I carry this with me whenever I go. I don't know if you can, can read it. The first one says a threesome with the Olsen twins. Yeah, it's, it's already... Uh, I already erased it. This, the, <laughs> this, the second well, one is being in a video game. Yeah. But it's not crossed out, so All it's right. still and, on there. And three Next is one. leaked sex tape. Yeah, correct. <laughs> oh, it's still on. Oh. Okay, next one. Find real dad. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. Oh, next is Storm <laughs> Area 51. Who would know that would actually happen? So, been there, done that. <laughs> next is winning a hot dog eating contest. I used to be a chubby boy. <laughs> oh, I'm like a thank you. I have this. This bucket with me, and it allows me to carry around this novelty giant uh, marker so I can erase the final, final bit of my... You know what? We can actually just throw it away now. Thanks, Daniel. Life goal accomplished. we a video game. We're all in a video game, guys. Mates, and we all win.
that's it for the show today. If you enjoyed the show, please tell all your friends and family about it. I post recaps of the show on YouTube and Instagram. Please give those a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos of the podcast and my music. I'm also thankful for my listeners and guests on the show. Big thanks to all the artists that let me play their great tracks. And thanks to all the amazing people in the Twist chat. Thank you to the people that like, listen, and share the show on SoundCloud. You can support the show by checking out Heartbeat Hero on Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, and SoundCloud. And like Jeff of Jefferson Rift, Robin Lights, and Keith Atherton, you can support Heartbeat Hero Radio by going to patreon.com slash heartbeathero. Have a great day, everybody, and see you at the after party. At the after party. Thanks for listening to Heartbeat Hero Radio. This episode was sponsored by Lit Gaming Arena. If you like video games or any other geek culture, check out the Lit Gaming Arena podcast. Season 3 is starting soon, and we have a lot of great stuff coming your way. This season, we will be relaunching our second podcast feed, Lit Gaming Arena Overdrive, which is supplementary to the LGA cast. It focuses on spoiler casts and actual reviews of the games we're playing. To find us, all you have to do is search for Lit Gaming Arena or go to LGA.GG. And be sure you subscribe to both podcast feeds on your favorite podcast app, Lake Gaming Arena and Lake Gaming Arena Overdrive.